Who are you? What's up? Uh, what's up? Uh, I'm Warner. I play bass for I Built the Sky on the store. Awesome. How did that happen? How did that happen? Wow. Well, uh, so the internet is an uh, interesting place, uh, I would say. So to make this very long story very short, I toured uh, in a band called Aviations, which is a band I'm still in currently, uh, with Andrew Scott so about two and a half years ago. Uh, we had a great time on tour. We toured the USA, I think, for three weeks straight, and I think we bonded very well over the tour musically and also uh, on a, a level of friendship, I would say. Um, we've always stayed in touch after that, but uh, basically the story there is that Andrew knows Mike Mellian very well. Uh, Mike Mellian uh, obviously was trying to get I Built the Sky on this tour and uh, the thing was I don't know exactly how this went but I built the sky wasn't able to bring the entire band so there needed to be a uh, source band from Europe basically in order to make this happen that's when Mike Malian got in touch with Andrew Andrew knew about me recommended me and that's kind of how this whole thing uh, materialized so that's why I'm here that's so cool man yeah, oh, it's a fun time man. it's really cool because you know, you guys are fucking amazing musicians but you're also legends it's been so seamless and so easy for me you know like Personally, I haven't had to think about it. you guys do your thing and it just works perfect. So that's been so cool. Yeah, it's, it's felt the exact same way for, for Andrew and me as well. Definitely, especially because we like this music so damn much. It's been an absolute <laughs> blast to play. So that's obviously the first factor which makes you uh, have so much more fun on stage. And then yeah, of course. Really enjoying each other's company on a personal level, I would say. And also having that musical, musical connection and really getting to know each other on that stage. Like how everyone is there energy-wise, but also musically and kind of really locking in. And I think that's gone very well over the course of this tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like rehearsing initially? Were, were you like, hmm, I wonder how this is going to go? Well, so um, uh, so the, the whole thing came together, I would say, very, very late. Um, Andrew and me basically heard about all this on three weeks notice. I think Andrew had maybe four weeks, I had three weeks. Um, so it was a very short amount of time to get all this material ready. Um, so when I took on the challenge for that, I definitely thought, okay, I will have to budget my time very wisely, since I also work a full-time job at home, working five days a week. Um, so I basically only had weekends off in that sense to really make the most of my time and make sure I had everything done. So I definitely thought like, okay, it's gonna be interesting. Made a little uh, roster for myself, a little agenda to make sure I was ticking everything off as fast as I could. Um, so there were a couple of points where I went like, am I gonna be able to do all of this in time? But as time went on and I spent a lot of hours uh, rehearsing the stuff, with the time that I had, I definitely felt confident very quickly. Uh, and now I feel very at home in this material and it's great fun to play on stage. So, stuck yeah. at this point, for sure. Yeah, it's cool once you're yeah. feeling confident with the material, then you can, oop, you can, um, you know, you're not stressing about the material on stage. You can right. more have fun, you know? So, I'm, I feel like I'm just about getting there because <laughs> they're new songs to me too, you know? Exactly. I, I, I did three songs in the week that I was home from the States. Yeah. I had started learning them because you know you record them and everything, but you're not playing them through necessarily. That's right. So, yeah, but yeah, felt felt pretty good and like yeah, feeling good now. Yeah. yeah, same here, absolutely. I mean, obviously it takes some time to get used to also in that live setting, but a couple of shows in, like I feel very, very comfortable playing all this material. And especially now, it's not even about the material anymore because you know this, but it's more like about the stage dynamics, what everyone mm. is doing musically, trying to connect with that, especially with Andrew adding all kinds of different accents, trying to yeah. match that, whatever his feet are doing or his right hand is doing, getting the accents in. And yeah. that's such a fun challenge as well, just like trying to get something new and interesting in there mm. every time around. And so far, I think that's been a lot of fun for me and for everyone. Uh, awesome. So yeah. So you're enjoying enjoying the tour so far? Absolutely. Been having an absolute blast. Getting to see all these uh, cities, getting to meet all these wonderful people, getting to hang out, even drink a little bit of Jack Daniels every now and then. Not too much. <laughs> not, too much. Not, We've too much. Learned that lesson not too much. We've learned that lesson early. Never drink too much Jack Daniels. <laughs> um, we would never. So. Um, <laughs> 
but yeah, overall, absolute bless. Fucking stoked to be here. Really stoked. Yeah, the, the guys in all the other bands are all awesome too, right? Yeah, yeah, that's so right. Like man. it's we've all gotten on quite well. Yeah, absolutely. It's really cool. And also, as more time passes, because obviously, like in that first week, I would say you're still getting to know everyone. Like, mm. how is everyone on the personal uh, level? Yes. Some people need some space at a certain time, or, or like, how do they function as a human being? Yeah. But I would say, like, a couple weeks in, as we are now, I think we're three weeks in. Is that right, bro? Yes, I'd say, like, Something. at least. At least. Yeah. yeah. So I think we're three weeks into this thing, and at this point, you really know people that you're with on this bus, and that makes everything that much more comfortable, at least for me. And I think, guys, kind yeah. of speak for everyone in that regard mm -hmm. so yeah it's 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 very very nice right now absolutely oh well, thank you for your time absolutely dude. it's been a pleasure having absolutely. you on board man for sure peace peace okay that is my base what is this you are looking at a dingwall afterburner model with a triple pickup configuration it's probably well probably it is the first dingwall i've ever owned uh, but this one i think must be four years ago now, something like that. And yeah, I've just always been playing this one. I also own another Dingwall by this point, but I just love this one so yeah. much. So yeah, it's with me on tour. It's frets are funny. Is there something wrong with them? Mm -hmm. They look a bit wonky. Yeah, these are fan frets. Obviously to get that extended skill length on that piece, especially if we're playing like the lower stuff. Uh, the, yeah, well, Ro actually plays a lot of in, uh, stuff in drop B. So to get that nice and clear B sound, you really want that uh, extended range on your bass and this bass provides it. So super stoked to be playing that. Hmm. Awesome. Um, three pickups there. That is three pickups what's, for sure. What's active and what's not active? Or? So I'm running this bass actively currently with this three amp, uh, three band, uh, three band, what's that called? Um, sorry for EQ? my English. EQ, there we go. It's uh, done by Glockenklang three amps. And it's a very simple setup, so for what I'm running on this tour is basically these two pickups in series. Uh, gives you a very massive sound with a lot of low end coming from this pickup and obviously the highs coming from this one. And then I just slightly turn up my highs a little bit and I keep my lows and my mids exactly the same, but it gives you just more clarity in the stuff that we're playing. So that works for me. For sure. Great. Um, what about, what, what are you using for amps? For amps currently, I'm just using my XFX actually. So there's a lot of stuff going on within that, obviously. So what do I have in there? Obviously a compressor, uh, an amp and a cab. Um, also a little simulator that pretty much simulates a dark glass piece of a K pedal, which adds a little bit of the grit, not too much, because I'm running the same tone basically for the cleaner stuff as well. I just pick less on. Huh? Yeah. So that seems to do the job very well. And yeah, XFX always seems to perform perfectly. So. Yeah, happy with that. So you've got some wireless stuff going on here too. I do have some wireless stuff going on, uh, using some Sennheiser stuff for my ears and using my Cinepuck in-ears to make sure I've got good sound going on when, uh, in my ears. And then a Line 6 transmitter and receiver to get my bass signal across into my XFX. And uh, that's the wireless setup I've got going. Yeah, nice one. Yep. Very cool. So uh, what's it like being on tour? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it's it's been a wonderful time, um, especially because you're on the road with new people for such an amazing, amazingly long amount of time. You get to know each other very well. Mm. I really dig that about tour. Um, yeah, you actually become friends really fast. Um, Andrew, our drummer, was saying this the other day, but you basically spent more time with uh, this group of people than you would with most friends in an entire year because there's just no escaping each other, yeah. which ends up, yeah, in a. I've, uh, so far in a very good situation where everyone's friendly and just really gets to know yeah, each other, so yeah, very stoked on that. Yeah, that's so cool. Alright, thanks for your time. Of course, mate.